Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to a special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. In this edition, we're going to focus on Legacy and also take a look at some of the foils that have been hot in recent weeks. There has also been some impact to the market based on the recent band announcement that we saw that affected Vintage and Legacy. So having said that, first off, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see regular editions of a focus on Legacy and or foils or possibly even Vintage. Uh, this is something that I know with some of the Eternal formats, the value doesn't change drastically as often as Standard and Modern does. So I was thinking of maybe doing this every few months or maybe after the band announcements come out or what have you. Uh, but let me know your thoughts if this is something you would like to see on a regular basis. So let's jump into the cards. First we have the top five legacy cards that decreased in value this week. Coming in at number five is the revised version of Underground Sea. This lost $2 to $267.67. You're just going to see this natural fluctuation. And like I mentioned at the top of the video, there aren't going to be huge drastic swings in most circumstances, although there is an exception coming up that we'll look at uh, when you're looking at legacy cards. Number four is the Tabernacle at Pendrel Vale. And this is just the biggest card that comes out of the Legends set, and it's valued at $716.27, but it did lose $3.01 this week. Again, just normal fluctuations. One thing that's interesting about Legacy compared to when you look at Modern and Standard is there's a lot less transactions that occur uh, for you to really gauge what the market's doing. So sometimes you might see a big uh, change in a card, but it just simply means that the week before, not a whole lot of those cards were on sale anywhere, and maybe some of them just popped up. So you kind of watch for that, but as you can see, not much of a uh, variance so far. Number three is Tundra, and this is the revised version of Tundra. Valued at $190. This time it lost $3.03 this week. And now we have number two, which is Plateau, and this is the unlimited version of Plateau. So those of you that don't recognize the art, after Unlimited, when they went to revise, they actually had a new piece of art. And I guess the story goes, what I heard was they actually lost the printing proof or lost the uh, pr piece of art. So they did have to come up with something new and they used another asset for revised. Uh, so prior to revise, you did see a different uh, piece of art on Plateau, uh, but this particular one lost $4.04, bring it down to $108.06. And the number one card that lost value this week, and this one's a little more significant, it is Candelabra of Taunos, and this is down to a $3.23.38, it lost $12.94 this week. This is a key component in the high tide decks, and they're kind of falling out of favor right now in the metagame, not to say that they won't be back at some point. But this card is a linchpin to that deck, and if that deck's not seeing a lot of play, though, there's less opportunity to use this productively. So I foresee this continuing to drop as long as this deck kind of stays out of a top-tier deck in the metagame. So keep an eye on this one. If you have these, it might be a good time to trade them away or for something else, another staple, or perhaps sell them. I think they're going to be on a downward slide. All right, now for the good news. Top five cards that increased in value this week. Well, I guess good news if you have these cards. <laughs> Number five is Sneak Attack, and this went up $1.04, bringing it up to $47.07. That's pretty much where Sneak Attack's been sitting for a while now. It sees play in Sneak and Show decks, and it's just a good way to sneak big creatures in and let them attack for a turn, just get some huge damage across or any sort of attack trigger abilities, that type of thing key part of that deck as well as some other decks that show up in as well. Number four is a volcanic island. In particular this is the unlimited version and it increased the dollar oh nine bringing it to four twenty nine twenty nine. And as you can tell Volcanic Island, Underground Sea, really the dual lands that contain blue when you get to the eternal formats. Those are the most sought after ones because blue is just such a powerful color in legacy and vintage. Number three is Bayou, and again, this is the unlimited version of Bayou. It went up a dollar eleven, bringing it up to one ninety-seven ninety-four. 
Number two is in Staring Bridge, and this one's a little more interesting. It went up a dollar ninety three, bringing it to twenty two twenty six. This particular version is the seventh edition version, which is not the most sought after version of this card because of the white border and the kind of odd art, I would guess. <laughs> but this is starting to climb and catch up to the other version of in Staring Bridge. Not really because of legacy as much as because of modern. There's a modern deck that recently did a very well that is based around a staring bridge. And as long as there are no bannings, and I don't foresee any, at least in the immediate future, uh, this card continue, could continue to go up. So keep an eye on this one. Uh, if you haven't picked these up yet, pick them up. And if you're just looking to play this deck, the 7th edition version is not a bad version to pick up since it will only run you about $20, $25 uh, each. And not too bad for a playset when you're starting to think about uh, some of the <laughs> costs of cards in modern. Uh, but yeah, this one is going to continue to go up. And the number one card to increase in value this week is Underground Sea. This time we're looking at the unlimited version. So we saw the revised version lose a little value, but this one went up $7.54, bringing it to $4.33.72. Some of the unlimited cards are going up as well because the alpha and beta are just starting to get priced out of people's price range. And as much as having a dual land is fine, you can pick up a revised one cheaper, a lot of players do want to at least get the unlimited. So I think that's what you're kind of seeing here where the unlimiteds are going up and the revised are starting to go down a little bit, at least for now. And there's also some fluctuation in the betas and alphas where they're also starting to go down a little bit, but I think it's just because they just got so high and there was so much hype recently over the last year when Vintage Masters came out that a lot of players started gravitating and trying to build vintage decks, <laughs> at least those that could afford to. And... Now that's starting to wane a little bit, and I think you're going to see some decreases in value for classic vintage staples and cards that are maybe the more expensive versions of cards that have been reprinted. All right, so that's Legacy. Now let's talk a little bit about foils, and there's some pretty strong foils out there. Anyone who's looked at that market knows that foils can be very expensive, and in the future I'm going to do some more uh, foil-centric installments of either Market Watch or another series. I haven't decided yet, uh, but let's look at the top five foils that have seen the most heat this week. Number five is the Judge's promo version of Wasteland. And I didn't put the value increase on these cards just because they are so rare and not necessarily sold in a lot of locations, so that data is not very strong. So I'm basically just going to tell you what they're valued at. Uh, this is valued at $219.99. Uh, it's a very beautiful version of Wasteland. It's a foil version of Wasteland. And if you're really trying to trick out a cube or your legacy deck or something like that, this is the version those players will want. Number four is Foil Dak Faden from Conspiracy. And uh, at some point, I do have a box of Conspiracy to open for the channel. Hopefully, we'll get one of these. He's at 386.66. And he's only been printed one time. It's been in Conspiracy. And the only place you can get him were the foil. And it's a great card in Vintage. I could see a little legacy play fringe, but for the most part, this is a vintage card. And again, vintage players, sometimes they have decks that they're going to play for long periods of time. So they do like to get foils, like to trick out their deck a little bit. Also, too, this is a great cube card. If you have a artifact theme, it's a good kind of counter to it. And again, it's kind of cool if, to trick out your cube a little bit when you can. So uh, he's going to continue to see value. And he's a hard one to reprint. Like, where do you reprint this particular card? You don't want something like this, this necessarily in standard. Uh, so when's he going to show up again? Maybe a Conspiracy 2 or something like that. But definitely could use a reprint. <laughs> Number three is the Arena version of Mana League, and this is a foil Mana League. Uh, it has the old card frame. Just another really sought-after version of the card. It's got the original art, so it does look a lot like, uh, just like really the Stronghold version of the card, uh, other than the set symbol. But this costs $75. It'll run you, which is not as bad as some others on the list, and it is a very nice-looking premium card. 
Number two is another judges promo. This is Wheel of Fortune. So a lot of transactions this week. 114.55, and just another just classic card. These judges promos are always awesome. So uh, they usually have great art with them, or at least very unique art. And you get the card in sometimes a different type of border. In this case, you're seeing Wheel of Fortune in the modern border, which isn't something you see very often or at all, other than this card. And it, yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome card to play uh, as well in vintage and another really fun cube card along with stuff along those lines and the number one foil to see the most transactions this week is black vice from from the vault relics and it's valued right now at about 120 bucks it's actually moved around a lot this week it was 140 at one point but at the time i made this video it looks like it's gone down a little bit tons of hype around this card just because it came off the legacy bands list this week and players want to brew with it so they're going out there and they're trying to get a the really the only foil version i believe of the card which is in from the vault relics uh, other options for the card of course there's an alpha beta version of it as well which extended into unlimited and revised so there are other premium versions of the card, just no premium foil versions, I guess you would say. Uh, so this is going to be pretty sought after, at least initially. Now, I don't know if Black Vice is going to be a powerhouse in Legacy, unless somebody brews something really cool with it, which there's a lot of cards out there to choose from, so it's possible. Uh, but it's not as powerful, I don't think, as it used to be, because, uh, as I mentioned in the video where we talked about the ban list, it's not a great strategy anymore to make your opponent draw cards because cards just became too powerful <laughs> over the years. So if you have a grip of cards, you're probably not too worried about the damage you're getting from Black Vice. You probably should be winning the game in Legacy at that point. So uh, so I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I'm sure there's different tricks and combos that could uh, make that different. But uh, hey, there it is. Those are the hot foils for the week. So like I said at the beginning of the video, please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more uh, focus on foils, legacy, and or vintage, some of the eternal format stuff. I know I put a lot of focus on standard and modern, but if you like this, at least periodically as well, let me know. And hit that like button. That also lets me know if this is something you'd like to watch in the future. So if you haven't had a chance yet too, please check out our Patreon page. These videos really are powered by viewers just like yourself and the patrons that support us every month and even a dollar helps us make better videos so really appreciate all the support from the patrons and as always have a great day hey thanks as always for watching these videos are made possible by viewers just like you through patreon please check out our patreon page by clicking on the top right down below we have more links to quality magic the gathering content and if you're interested in seeing trading cards open that aren't magic the gathering check out the link to our trading card channel heroes and legends trading cards thanks and have a great day